guys welcome back to a new video today we are right here with a new porsche macan gts 2022 version and in this video i will make the full review interior exterior at the end of this video you will find out everything about macan gts and if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out porsche center in Bern. i will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car see the car check out the car the link will be in the description before we start the review i want to give you some uh, technical data and some information of course the price as well right here so the price of the car here in switzerland at least it's 114,400 francs i will add the price in dollars so you can make an idea but in this price it's kind of a full option i mean you have everything in this macan gts and it's just incredible i will show you also in the video most of these options that the car come with and also it worth mention right here that is just phenomenal also it comes with extra 21 inch gt design rims that look phenomenal on the car it comes with dynamic light system plus pdls plus from porsche also the car come with porsche surface coated brakes with black uh, brake calipers i will show you in a second uh, when we go outside also porsche torque vectoring plus ptv plus it's incredible guys all those things that the car come with they are phenomenal it comes also with 360 degrees camera and all other information i will give you as we go in the video but now guys let me go a little bit deeper and give you some technical data about the car the car come with a 2.9 petrol engine v6 is just incredible engine not only that it's powerful enough for the car and for daily driver but it's an incredible mechanical it's a piece of art in terms of mechanical and technical stuff and also it comes with a seven speed dual clutch automatic from porsche this is totally the best it's so smooth it's so good i will have a separate video the test drive with the same car check out the test drive guys there i talk a little bit more about transmission uh, acceleration and everything about the car so probably the video is already on the channel if it's not just subscribe to the channel to see when that video will come out now let's go back to technical data 2.9 liter petrol engine v6 it's a b turbo 24 valves 440 horsepower 550 newton meter it's an all-wheel drive system the consumption of the car combined vltp 11.3 liters fuel tank capacity 65 liters also co2 emission vltp 255 grams the top speed of the car 272 km per hour 0 to 104.5 seconds also the ground clearance of the car this car that we have right here it comes with adaptive suspension air suspension incredible suspension so we cannot talk about ground clearance but i can give you just the standard ground clearance when you get the standard suspension 17.7 centimeters also the car come with ventilated brake discs on the front 360 millimeter and ventilated brake discs on the rear 330 millimeters normally the car comes standard with 20 inch rims but we have a special option extra on this model that i have with me and this macan gts that i have right here it comes with 21 inch rims they look just wow i mean on the car look perfectly the weight of the car it's 1935 kilograms also the trunk boot capacity 458 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1503 liters the car come also with of course when you get the standard version with independent double wishbone coil spring with anti-roll bar suspension on the front on the rear multi-link coil spring with anti-roll bar but on this model we have the air suspension adaptive air suspension that are just wow i mean super super suspension those are the most important technical data guys now we will start the review outside inside then the technology and i try to show you everything i will have a separate video with the test drive if you want to see the test drive check out next days on the channel to see more information about how is this macan gts on the road so yeah anyway let's start the review first of all this is the key i think it's one of the most beautiful key outside there on the market it's beautiful it's like a car a small car with porsche logo in the front what you can do with the key of course you can lock and unlock the car uh, the car come with electric folding mirrors 
and also it comes with automatic lift gate if you hold the button for a few seconds you can see that you can also uh, open the trunk automatically something that i notice is that when you hold it back uh, it doesn't close you have to press the button there uh, in order to close the trunk so this is the key this is what you can do with the key all right guys now i just turn on the lights and i want to talk a little bit about the exterior design and then we will go inside so first of all the design of the car is just classic porsche i mean it's slick it's nice it's round shape uh, aggressive and in the same time very business looking in my opinion very beautiful it has some few elements here for example uh, the bumper in the front that looks super aggressive super sporty with a lot of air intakes there then we have the rims in black matte that looks phenomenal with the car i think those 21 inch rims fit with the car just perfect i don't know if if you can get a better looking one for shape of the car also everything is black black glossy everywhere it looks nice i'm not a big fan of black color because you cannot see the shapes the lines you cannot see them so good but yeah it is what it is and it looks nice it fits well the black color on this uh, Macan GTS look really really good now here on the upper side let's start with this spoiler the spoiler it's not only that it's beautiful and sporty but also it has some great great practicality because the air will come inside here and then come outside here so it help the downforce at high speed it will help the aerodynamic of the car in a big way also you have the brake light LED light there it fit well with the design of the car here on the back we have the wiper and then under the wiper you have a button where you can open the trunk it's really interesting i will show you a little bit later going on the back side we have full led lights in the same new style as porsche uses with we have this led bar that goes across the back of the car then we have the turning signals led light down here uh, the brakes as well are on the upper side they look quite nice when you brake the car beautiful lights modern for 2022 nothing to say here it's just perfectly perfectly positioned perfect technology love the way it looks we have porsche letters here in the back then we have macan gts as well in a black matte color letter so you know which car it is and which car uh, you drive look at the bumper down there look at those four exhaust pipes they look in a big way they are real and they look phenomenal on the car and not only that they look phenomenal but they sound in a big way when you drive the car and not only when you accelerate it's it's a beast I mean it's just lovely you can hear the engine right now it's in normal mode and when you change the driving mode the sound will be much more pronounced the fog lamps it's also LED light and it's down here the reverse light are also here on the both side and they are also LED light that's something to keep in mind we have also a camera reverse camera down here and also LED lights on the number plate this is very useful and also you have a little springer so the camera can, can be washed from um, inside and this is really helpful here on the right side on the passenger side you have the tank this is the tank the petrol tank also they recommend you to fuel only with 98 petrol so the better quality uh, for those of you that are not in Europe they are in other country they recommend you to put the best quality of gas in the car from the side the car look pretty aerodynamic I don't know if it makes any sense to talk too much about the design because uh, everybody know it. Uh, I want to talk about the things that not many people talk about. For example, glossy plastic around the windows. This is the trend these days. Glossy plastic here between the windows, tinted windows on the rear, glossy plastic here. All those things look just splendid together. I like the fact that even the mirror, it's in same color as the car. Even this leg here, it's in the same color as the car. And you can see even the mirror have an entry in here, a space, a hole that help aerodynamic when you drive at high speed. So pretty nice. Also the blind spot technology, it's here guys, for those of you that didn't know. LED lights on the blinkers and then you have the camera here for 360 degrees camera and then you have another light to illuminate the floor 
in the night time i like that you have glossy plastic even on the interior side of the mirror big mirror good visibility overall it looks nice here we have the handle the handle are pretty simple i should say but uh, the quality when you touch them the quality of the door when you open the door when you close the door you can hear that it's just lovely i mean when you talk about porsche you can expect less than high high quality they put a lot of rubbers a lot of works on the upper side here also here we have so the quality uh, it's top top we will see that when we go also inside the car now on the down part the down skirt here it's made by plastic and this is something that i like very much they put this plastic here because in this way they can protect the down part of the car if you go for example a little bit off-road you can change this plastic very easy you don't have to repaint the car don't have to worry about those things also the car come with a camera and a few sensors for light and raining the camera for lane assist reading the traffic speed limit and all that safety features look at the front the front classic Porsche aggressive look a sporty look really nice I like the lines you can see it make it even more aggressive even more sporty uh, with those lines on the hood also we have the porsche logo that also probably the most beautiful logo that we have on the market these days it's really really beautiful it's very complex also full led right here full led this is the kind of the latest technology in terms of led lights from porsche they are super super good the lights also on the other side the same story here we have the turning signals led light it's on the down part and if we go a little bit downer we have some huge air intakes look at this guys i mean i put all my hand inside here those air intakes are one of the biggest air intakes in a car and those allow the air to go there to this radiator and then to cool different parts that need to be cooled down in the car also the car come with four parking sensors in the front one it's here and then you have the second one here um, in the middle here we have also huge air intakes but this time here we have some pedals those pedals are open right now but they are closed uh, in the winter when the engine need to cool down they will stay close when the engine need to be warm they will stay closed when you need to cool down they will open to all of the air inside there to cool down the engine a little bit so those are the smart things these days that many car uses also we have some air intakes on the down part pretty nice design pretty interesting uh, other than that here in the front we have the front camera and we have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features 21 inch rims as i said before i love the rims i tell you i think those are the most beautiful rims that they can fit on this car 21 inch perfect size i love this black matte color we have the porsche black calipers on the rear ventilated brake this you can see it inside there and if we go in the front we have kind of the same story ventilated brake discs they are a little bit bigger this time but the brake calipers we have the porsche writing here and we have six pistons so incredible incredible brakes so great job Porsche really beautiful it's a really beautiful car I don't know about you but um, I like very much the way the car look super nice let's go forward now you see the light I can turn on the light off the light and even the engine look how nice see close the engine open the hood let's go in the front there here is the hood it's very simple to open it up you have in the middle there and it's an automatic lift gate as expected this is the engine bay if i can call it like that this is the air intake i think for the air filter it's incredible big the car needs a lot of air here's the engine the 2.9 liter v6 gts porsche you can see it right it also there it's quite nice not sure if for many of you uh, is this matter i don't know if some of you that buy this car it's really important to see what is here anyway look how nice you open the trunk the button is right here under this wiper press the button automatic lift gate super nice 
Up here you have some handles, you have also some light reflectors, very useful in the night time. Then you have the button to close it and to lock it, close it and lock it. Um, other than that, the triangle is here on the upper side. The car comes also with this protection, the trunk protection, that we can take it out in a second and I'll show you the way it looks. Uh, by the way, this protection, I like the quality of it, guys. When you take it down, it's very easy to take it out. You just have to pull it a little bit and then up and look at this. Now you can see a little bit better the entrance in the car. It's a big, big entrance. It's very practical. You can fit in here many stuff without any problem. Also, what I was impressed to see for the first time, I don't think I'd see this before, is the fact that they put carbon fiber here. You see that? It's carbon, real carbon fiber. It's incredible. I mean, the quality inside the car, it's, it's lovely. Down here, it's not a flat floor. We have like around 10 centimeter deepness. Then you have 12 volt port here on the side. Good quality here on the side. Almost everywhere it's good quality. You have hooks in aluminum, very good quality as well. Then you have a floor here that you can open it up and you can put a few things here. Not a spare tire, but a lot of, lot of space here to put your things. Also keep in mind that this here is the Zabuffer for Bose sound system that take up a little bit of space. Uh, anyway, the sound system in the car is just incredible. The quality, it's, it's top of the top, guys. Anyway, I want to show you something here on the right side. You have a few buttons. Those buttons are for the hook. So, for example, if you press this button here, the car will take out the hook. What I notice is that the hook needs a little bit of time, maybe around 20 seconds or 30 seconds. It's, it's like... A, small frog i don't know how they call that frog but it's good because you don't have to touch it i mean you don't even need to touch it you just put your finger here on the button and then it will come in automatically slowly but safe you know it's good then you have another two buttons here for the air suspension so for example if you press them the car will go down a little bit i don't know if you can see it and i also think i have to press it all the time if I, if I remember well and the car will go completely down and if you press the upper one the car will go a little bit higher but I think it's already higher yes yes right now it's going down I don't know if you can see that but anyway keep in mind this is really helpful when you want to put in something and you need the car to be a little bit lower other than that yeah big entrance very very useful good Another good thing that I like about the car is the fact that, oh, I have to go on the other side, is the fact that you can fold down the middle part right here. You have a button on the upper side, guys. So on the upper side, then you fold it down. And um, something that I was impressed is why they didn't add some kind of buttons here where you can press it or release the seats like I see in even much more cheaper car that will be very helpful for many people anyway the great thing is that you can fold down the seats and you can carry long items like skis or whatever you want to carry in the same time you can still have two passengers there and this is one of the best thing on a car uh, that you can have because if you go to ski you want you need four person you can fold it down and you carry your skis for all the, the persons if you want to fold the seats down you can do it from here you press this button and then you push it forward because it's a big trunk it's really big trunk trust me you can fit in here many many things it's very practical you can stretch out a little bit there to push it down and yeah i forget to adjust my seat actually let me adjust it now i want to make it realistic realistic as possible because I will go there in the front and I will show you how much space you have in the car. I wanna, by the way, it has electric adjustable seats and this is really good. They are really good. We will talk about that later. Now, I fold down the seats completely. Also, this floor stay completely down. Let me show you. Oh, what is there? It's something there. I don't know. I didn't put it straight away but 
this can stay straight look at this look at this guys flat floor completely completely flat floor not many cars have it like that like completely flat and practicality it's top-notch in terms of practicality um, I think it's one of the most practical in this class it looks quite big here it, it, it has a lot of space where you can fit in here even big items like fridges washing machines wherever it's it's really really practical and you can see that with your own eyes let's go on the side here going on the side the entrance it's relatively big going inside here you can see from this angle as well the way it looks this is it big 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 space also the quality here it's very good i like the quality behind the seats also you have some storage space on the legs room even though it comes with a big transmission tunnel you still have some storage space there to put your things yeah this is it guys let me put everything back and we will go inside the car to see the rest all right guys now let's go forward here on the door we have a big window from one piece and then we have another small window here on the body of the car you will see in a second when we go inside also the visibility in terms of door quality and design is just top of the top i will give it a 10 from 10 because you don't find any plastic here i think the even even here in the interior you don't have plastic guys so it's just incredible they add this leather almost everywhere the only plastic that you find here it's on the cover of these speakers but other than that on the upper side you have soft leather you can see also these uh, green stitches you have carbon fiber here look at this incredible handle super super high quality as you touch it here soft here soft here you have alcantara leather really really high quality also the button for the windows feel wonderful a lot of storage space here to put your stuff that it's really really cool i like that and then we have the speaker down there both sound system as i said before incredible sound system and here you have another speaker so how cool is that going inside the car relatively big entrance so in terms of entrance you don't have to worry you have a hook here and keep in mind that everywhere here on the roof we have alcantara super super high quality you can see the seats from this angle from this position you can see how much space you have here in the back also the seats are high quality they are made by leather here headrest side uh, it's made by leather here in the middle we have alcantara alcantara here they look lovely they are super comfortable and the quality it's top of the top you can see even those red stitches they look so nice the seat belt it's it's green i love that i love that cars manufacturer think to change the color of the seat belt it make it different it make it look better i like that very much here in the middle you have an armrest with two cup holders leather armrest also very useful i like that guys i tell you very good quality here you have isofix two isofix you can install two child seats here in the back in the middle here you have leather uh, we will test that as well to see how is the the comfort there in the middle behind the front seat you have the same some storage here leather i think here is leather but behind this leather i think it's a plastic to protect the seat this is very smart closing the doors you hear that hear this out one more time oh yeah i love that sound it's a quality sound up here led light fancy fancy handle hook here we have alcantara again in terms of space head space five six finger over my head 173 centimeter i have in case you want to know that the legs room this is it more than enough leg room here in the back and the seat it's in my driving position i can even put a little bit forward so you can see it one more time to make an idea this is the space i can stretch a little bit the legs under the front seat but overall yeah i feel good i feel comfortable here visibility is also good i have a small window here and a bigger one 
it's not the best best visibility but it's relatively good in my opinion no complaining about that now let's let's go in the middle here if you go in the middle you can see that we have a vent here and also you have the possibility to change the temperature from here it's very simple very easy and also those vents quality are very good they feel good down here two USB-C I like that very useful those are super useful and a big transmission tunnel now let me go in the middle here we have only leather in the middle the space in the middle for almost five fingers I can stretch my hand completely wow surprisingly you have a lot of space on the side so even three people can sit here without any problem of course it's not so comfortable as on the side it's a little bit stiffer my back on the back it's a little bit stiffer but Overall, it's quite good. As I said, space is it's relatively fine, a little bit uh, smaller space, but on the knees, um, it's enough space for me at least. In the front, we will go right now and we will talk about uh, everything there, multimedia, cockpit, all about those things in the front. Overall, it's a nice design. On the dashboard, it's a very high quality design there. We will see when we go there. Beautiful design, I think it's modern. I think it looks good, it's perfect, uh, it has everything, very easy to reach out and yeah, business, really business looking with that watch up there. Anyway, let's go in the front. Alright guys, here in the front we have kind of the same quality, same high quality on the doors. There are a few little difference here. We have a big window split in two. So you have a small window here and a big window here and this way you can fold the window all the way down. If you go on the door you can see that the door design it's very similar with the door on the rear and the quality it's almost the same here we have also the same leather with red stitches the same beautiful carbon fiber here inserted in the door the handle super high quality lock and unlock button here you have the buttons to save the position of the electric seats uh, you have this possibility down here you have again Alcantara on the armrest high high quality then you have the buttons uh, for different functions uh, open the trunk lock the windows open the windows uh, adjustable electric mirrors fold the mirrors unfold the mirrors I was impressed to see that you have a lot of space in the door bands so Porsche think also on the uh, practicality not only on quality and uh, image here we have a big Bose speaker and then you have another small speaker here impressively is that even this area here doesn't have plastic here it's kind of a cover of leather or stuff like that down here we have light very useful in the night time then when we go inside the car here you can see big entrance and you can see also the seats the same seats as on the rear guys here same high quality seats we have that leather combination with Alcantara with the red stitches also you can see the GTS uh, right in here you can see the side support side support very very good quality they are super super smooth and soft the seats so even at long trips you don't have to worry about back pain and stuff like that because you have so many adjustments so all those electric adjustments you can adjust everything about those seats guys even this side support you can make it bigger smaller down here everything I mean you have a lot of adjustments I like very much this Macan GTS writing here in this is an LED light and this is carbon fiber it's beautiful super super high class the question here is why they didn't use aluminum pedals why we have kind of a normal pedals there this is a big question but yeah overall doesn't matter too much going forward here you don't have plastic everywhere here it's soft the same say good quality as on the doors then you have the controls for the lights here and here you can turn on the car I'll show you a little bit later also here you have the, the vents guys very good quality on the vents very simple also carbon fiber here in the middle of the dashboard you can see they integrate it almost everywhere on the upper side the same story soft 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 material everywhere it's soft material even those vents are integrated in this soft material around so Porsche put a lot of work in these cars I tell you guys they put so many work in every single a piece 
of this car in the interior exterior they put a lot of work even here a pillar made by uh, alcantara and then here you have soft material the combination between them uh, no wonder why they ask for so much money because everything here it's high class everywhere alcantara you have this handle uh, up here even this solar protection is made by alcantara you have led light up there small mirror super high high quality guys really really high quality visibility around the windows very good no problem in terms of visibility you can see right here also visibility in this mirror quite good in the back there around around the windows very very good visibility also you can see one more time the seats in the back there in the middle here armrest alcantara armrest you can adjust it very simple open it up you have some storage space with two USB-C ports down there. Then you have two cup holders, pretty simple. Macan logo right here, some storage space for your key. And then going in the center console, it's very stable, very good quality. Also on the side here, it looks very good. In the first time uh, when the engine is off, you will think, okay, here we have a lot of glossy plastic and a few buttons. And where is everything else? Where are the physical buttons? Because there are not so many physical buttons. You have just an electronic handbrake and those buttons here that you're wondering what are those. Uh, and I will show you in a second, of course. Let me start the engine. Press the brake, as I said before. From here you start the engine. You need to have the key, first of all, inside the car or inside your pocket. Then you turn it once, you put the contact. It's like a classic key, but it will stay here forever. And then press the brake turn it around and right now the engine is on the car is on and look at this on the center console it's full right now full of buttons and it looks so fancy it looks so fancy and futuristic guys and if you take someone in in your car it will think like oh my god so many buttons what those buttons do and how they work it's just wow but i will explain you in a second here it's electronic handbrake that you can activate deactivate from here very simple and in the middle you have this gear shifter from where you change the gears it's very nice it make also from alcantara from here from the side you have some chrome here on the upper side it looks really good if you want to change the gears you press the button up you put it in reverse right now we are in reverse and the car come with 360 degrees camera active lines there in the back you can see the front the rear the side the panoramic roof the panorama front panorama rear and then you have the top so you can see it also from the top and you can see those active lines you can see 360 degrees what it's around the car it's it's super super cool i like it very much that's something to keep in mind also going in drive put it like that now you are in drive also you can drive in manual that's why there are those pedals here behind the steering wheel those pedals plus and minus you change the gears manually if you want to and those pedals are not plastic you can hear aluminium very good quality super super nice anyway let me put it back in park good now let's go forward down here you have those exhaust pipes if you press those the sound the engine sound you hear it it's more aggressive guys anyway keep in mind you make the sound more aggressive this is the button then you have traction control here you have the suspension you can choose up and down so you have lower or higher you can see there on the on the screen lower the suspension or higher the suspension then you have another button here are for sporty you can set the sporty suspension in in which mode you are you have two position actually you have three position first of all it's comfort where it's not selected if you select once it's sport selected if you select twice it's sport plus selected so when you want to drive sporty you, you can set up the suspension so they are incredible suspension all these buttons are for climatic system i think everybody knows what they are this is the heating on the seat and those are the position auto reset and here on the other side for the passenger here is the start stop system button this here it's for lane assist and autopilot you can activate it from here this is a downhill assist when you go downhill or almost all the suvs have it and this is off-road if you press this button right now the car will set up automatic 
the suspension will rise I don't know if you can feel it or you can see it. I think uh, you cannot see it, but you press off-road and the car will go up. The suspension will send the body of the car maximum higher so you can go through off-road. Anyway, simple. Those physical buttons are for the temperature, guys. Look at this. You change the temperature and from here you change the van speed. The same story, it happened here with the passenger. Here you can synchronize both AC, maximum rear AC there super simple then here in the middle you have also the turning signal button i think you understand everything here i hope so anyway let's go forward here is the vents two vents in the middle also good quality on the right side here we have some chrome design carbon fiber insertion here in the dash also you can see soft high high quality material this is the clock the classic porsche clock it's kind of modern it's much more modern than before you can see there uh, the new digital time and also analogical time so it's it's quite nice down here let me open this glow box the glow box it's big it's really big and it has an LED light there I think you can see it if I zoom in a little bit there quite quite big glow box very useful very useful glow box and also down here you have soft material so keep in mind soft and high quality material almost everywhere not only that it's high quality material but even from the driver point of view you have a lovely visibility you can see from here the way you see on the road and the great part is that everything is easy reachable so my hand it's very easy to reach all those buttons here and controllers and this is a good thing another thing that worth mentioned here in the middle is the multimedia system the multimedia system it's one of the best in my opinion it's very responsive it uses some great system and hardware behind it like processor uh, speed it's very high uh, you can control this uh, screen from here guys you have this option here you can go to option for example but from this wheel you can control you can go in different uh, function you can go uh, reverse you can press it you can open different function for example right now if you want to go out of here you go like that and you can you can use this wheel you don't have to use the touch screen but it's much easier in my opinion it's much more easier with the touch screen than with this wheel here so i will use the touch screen it's much more easier for me um, at least on this version of multimedia system now guys here is the volume you can turn the volume off and on and this is the home screen okay very good resolution brightness is good on the home screen you have a lot of information from apps from display from weather both sound system and stuff like that you can also activate different function directly from here but uh, you can also go on the left side here you have a lot of apps that you can activate for example you have the media here can go uh, in media different options of the media the telephone here different settings of the telephone you can control and activate different functions in the telephone the contacts and stuff like that then you have the car here on the car you have the controllers of the car you have the trip here information trip a trip b you can see consumption you can see all kind of information about the trip then you have the chronometer chrono if you want to uh, have fun with the car you can you can go on the track then also you can extend this part so you can see that you can connect your phone there uh, another thing that you can do guys it's down here on the car menu you have the parking assist you can activate this so you can go to the cameras down here you have the setting the vehicle settings where you can see the lock vehicle settings the doors mirrors light visibility exterior um, then you have the air conditioning settings porsche active safe so you can activate this active system uh, and collision warning from here then let me go back you have the display settings here you have also the system settings here where you can change the date and time units and then on the units you have the temperature the pressure the consumption the speed can change voice control language software update and factory settings you can reset uh, the factory then you have the driver manual these days all the cars have the manual of the car in the um, multimedia it doesn't come anymore with that book 
big book so yeah that's something to keep in mind other than that if i go forward down here on the apps you have all the apps of the car so you can see the weather the news because the car is connected to the internet you can see a lot of stuff petrol station parking hotel it's it's really 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 cool and also you have this possibility to online search um, different stuff anyway going forward you have the sound here on the sound you have the Bose sound system that it's one of the best where you can change different functions here you have the system here with a lot a lot of uh, settings that you can activate and deactivate then you have the device down here where you can see which device it's activated it's connected right now and then you have the set here on the set here kind of a setting uh, are all the settings of the car like vehicle settings that you see it before like display settings system settings Porsche connect navigation settings tuner phone sport chrono driver manual um, and all that stuff so overall it's very complex but what i like the most on this is that it's very responsive it, it's it's so sensitive as you touch it you can see the navigation it's one of the best in my opinion this navigation from porsche it's one of the best and look how responsive it is it's, it's one of the most responsive it's incredible responsive guys and if you go to a to a route you just press it once you it's working so fast so good start route guidance it's just like boom it's very sensitive very very good quality love it to be honest I, I like it very much now here on the steering wheel I have to tell you that this steering wheel is just phenomenal it's perfect Alcantara steering wheel it's made by Alcantara great grip really good grip it's a stiffer sporty perfect for sporty driving steering wheel it's lovely lovely quality also even the pedals are aluminum as i said before also the porsche logo it's phenomenal the most beautiful logo here you have the controls for the voice and multimedia and here you have also controllers for the screen i will show you in a second there but keep in mind gorgeous gorgeous steering wheel uh, also by the way you can control the steering wheel electrically you can adjust it electrically from down there under the steering wheel you have kind of a controller button and you can activate it up down left right forward backward the way you want driver select here you can select the different driving mode depending different in which driving mode you are uh, even the suspension will change and different action of the car will change and the way it responds but more about that in the test drive video check out the other video guys with the test drive so you have sport plus sport normal and individual so you can individualize and change different driving modes the way you want it you can change it very fast from here while you're driving so that's good now from here you can control the different views right there on the right side it's a classic analogical uh, system you have the uh, rpm in the middle and on the left side you have also the speed uh, and all other information but on the right side you have kind of a digital screen where you can see even more information about the car like the temperature like uh, the speed limit and also how much gas you have you have the possibility to change there to see the navigation if you want to you can see the navigation on the right side like that uh, this is also a great function and then you can see the trip here the consumption um, the, the sensors and the torque split here really interesting infos chrono speed limit acc adaptive cruise control and it's it's cool and also from here it comes also with a few settings where you can change uh, the display date and time language units and yeah whatever really really interesting it's not super customizable but for a sporty car for porsche to keep this classic look uh, it's just it's just perfect the way they do it uh, up here you have also some controllers for the parking sensors um, you have some light you have also um, a small and a bigger light so let me show you if you turn this light bigger light on you can see it on the side here and you have the possibility to turn only the small one but also pretty cool also fancy anyway I think this is all guys let me stop the engine 
and that was the video i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was useful guys i hope you get some useful information from this video if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask i will answer to all of you first of all i want to tell you thank you for watching my videos i really appreciate that really really appreciate guys so thank you very much the second thing that i want to say is that if you are in switzerland around switzerland you can check out porsche center in bern they have a lot of cars uh, great discounts and they are super super nice so check them out the link will be in the description the rating for this um, Macan GTS 2022 from 1 to 10 I will give it a 9.9 .9. it's super super high quality the price it's a little bit bigger of course there I can give it a, a less rating but keep in consideration technology the mechanic parts the quality interior I cannot give it uh, a less than 9.9 .9. so this is it super super car if you have the money just go for it you will never go wrong with a Porsche that's for sure anyway that was the video the other thing that I want to tell you guys is that if I miss something just let me know also if you want to see the full test drive video with this car I will drive the car in another video there we will talk all also only about the driving things so there you find more information about the driving things that was the video guys i hope everybody is safe with what happened in the world these days it's really sad and i hope we'll be all in peace soon because violence is not the answer aggression violence war is not the answer we have to talk to each other we have to stop this thing uh, happen in the future and we can't imagine a future with violence anymore so stay safe guys wish you all the best and i see you soon in the next one bye <music>